And so it's a, it's a money issue, but what about the side of this is such a huge endeavor, the, the potentially billions of dollars the city could be getting to try to repair the billions of dollars it has lost, uh, and to have a part-time city council and one city manager oversee all of that is a little daunting. Do you see there needs to be some other position to try to oversee all of that? A, a new person to bring them in. You know, the county hasn't needed a, a flood CEO to move forward with theirs. The business community um, is, has acted. They've uh, rebuilt and they're in particular businesses, small businesses. You know, we have Senator Grassley and Senator Harkin. I think what most people don't realize is there are only two other states that have more clout in the Senate than Iowa. West Virginia with uh, Rockefeller and Byrd, mm -hmm. and Massachusetts with Kerry and Kennedy. We're third. And in the Senate, it's seniority. So those two senators, along with their staffs, are representing Iowa. They should be dedicated. They should, they should be our, our flood lobbyist. Mm -hmm. We need to hire more people to go lobby our own senators that represent us. So I think it's just making sure that they know what our needs are. And that's been one of their frustrations that I've heard back from Washington and from uh, Des Moines, that the city doesn't have its acting gear. One minute, this is on the top of the list. Two weeks later, something else is on the top of the list. As mayor, what would you what would you tackle first if you're elected in November? Well, I think one of the things that we have to be very careful about is all this talk about government money, government money at the state and federal level. These are long term processes. You have to be patient and persistent. But there's there hasn't been much talk about the private sector and we've lost businesses in this community just like we did during the last big economic turndown back in the 80s. I remember that time well. I had a recent college graduate, and we had companies in this town that we thought would always be part of our skyline left, closed down. But leaders stepped up and started recruiting more businesses here, started to work with our homegrown businesses to help them grow, and the shovel started to turn, and the jobs started to come, and the tax base started to expand. So we've lost Swiss Valley Farms. We've lost Cryovac. Mm -hmm. We know that other companies are uh, have been downsizing. Uh, recent news about Penford. I'm very, very nervous. There are 7,900 people unemployed in this community, and our city needs to take a more active role of growing the commercial industrial tax base and creating more jobs. And Penford had a bit of positive news for that community today. The Priority Run Group, which is through the Chamber, as you very well know, right. was successful in securing two million dollars for Penford to stay, one of which isn't a low interest loan, the other isn't a forgivable loan, you know, just a million dollars to try to get them to stay. Do you think that is what the city needs more of, getting more government money to support local business, to provide an area where they would want to stay or they could stay because it is economically feasible? Well, you certainly have to compete for business, so there has to be that incentive. And the state has incentive plans and the local city government has used property tax abatement to also encourage businesses to move in here and, and to expand. But there's been so much focus on the flood and what we can do to get more money out of Washington and, in, and out of Des Moines for the flood that I think we're missing a big piece of this puzzle and that's our economic development effort and the background that I have at the Chamber of Commerce knowing what it takes to recruit jobs here, looking at companies across the face when they're talking about moving here and talking about our schools and talking about our, our work ethic and uh, why they should locate their company here. I have that experience. And some of the money, though, that they are asking for from Washington and from the state are being used as incentives for business. Um, in fact, recently the governor has announced uh, small businesses can get up to $50,000 through some of this money to start new, not necessarily flood-affected businesses, but brand new businesses who want to build in flood areas. So you want to, you, you see yourself as doing more of that. But at what cost would it be less for homeowners who are flood victims? So we only a few seconds left. I don't think it's a competition, but also just recently the Entrepreneur Development Center received a grant to help them uh, meet more uh, entrepreneurs to help them grow. I mean, obviously, you need a combination of new businesses moving in and growing your own. And uh, But we need to put more focus on jobs in this next election, and I will as mayor. All right, Ron Corbett, a pleasure talking you. with you. Thank you for coming on To The Point.